Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have for you an Ozark Trail portable camping heater, 10,000 BTU. It uses a one pound propane cylinder. It's supposed to last, as the box says here, two hours on high, four hours on low. Now, this is a new product from Walmart. It's an Ozark Trail, which most people know is Walmart. It comes in a nice uh, green and black. A little bit better than a buddy heater. Nice little aluminum handle. Which does not get hot, by the way. Alright, let's see here. We'll take another close-up look at it. See what we see here. A little minimalistic on the controls there. Overall, pretty nice looking heater. Supposed to heat up to 250 square feet. Says quick ignition. And I think, if I'm pretty sure, you can hook it up to a 20 pound propane tank. Let's get you guys set up here. We'll get a close up on the unit itself. The camera adjusted a little bit. Now, try to get you lit up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of this light. So we can see it and when the time comes I'll cut the other light once I get it lit. Alright, so according to order of operation, I'm supposed to turn this to ignition. And hold so you turn this back and forth unlike the buddy heater where you press it up and down so this hold for 30 seconds or so no ignition yet almost the buddy heaters are a lot easier so far to light maybe one more time we'll hold it there for a couple more seconds Well, almost. That's I don't. I lost count. We're at least five or six at this point. Buddy heater. Two or three on the usual. There we are. Hold it there for a few seconds. Now, on these heaters, I like to always turn them on high for a few minutes. Anywhere from two to five minutes. A little bit of a flame up there. All right, let's cut the cut the light so we can see what's going on here. Let it warm up there a little bit. Let's see, zoom in just a little bit more on that. see here and it's about I'd say 60 degrees outside today so not too cold not too warm like I said I always like to let it run about a, anywhere from two to five minutes just so we can uh, get it nice and warmed up now my first test on these units I am, I'm not going to lie, this is the second unit I've had. Now there are some pros and cons. Pro number one would be the looks. I think they look better than buddy heaters. Uh, but there are different colored buddy heaters, so can't really complain there. Um, now, when it comes to the cons, it's a little harder to light, as we could see, um, than a buddy heater. The knob is minimal, that's another con. Uh, Pro, is it's got a nice handle compared to the buddy heaters. Um, other than that, uh, 
being that this is the second unit, the first unit when I tested it on low only lasted two hours and 45 minutes. It was a, just over two hours on high, but it didn't run very well on low. So it looks like we're completely heated up now. Took a lot longer than I expected, a lot longer than the first time even. So, but nonetheless, it seems to be working properly now. So let's turn it on low. Now the issue that I have with this particular heater over the buddy heater is something you'll see in just a second. Now the difference is, is when you turn this one on low, there's a click. Now I'm not sure if it's coming across on the camera or not. Be a little bit closer for you guys. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but there is a flutter. It runs a flutter on low. Now, let's get, well, we'll turn it back on high for purpose of demonstration. Works perfectly fine on high. Now, like I said, it's 10,000 BTUs. Now, I'm not sure if it's 5,000 BTUs or not. And here's, a, here's the other con with this situation. The other con is it's by GHP Group and they are part of the Dynaglo line of heaters. I tried to contact the company because my first unit was obviously not operating properly and I got zero customer service. They knew absolutely nothing about this product. It's so new on the market I can't really blame them but then again it's for sale on the market. They should, they couldn't even run the part numbers because they had no idea. Now, other than that, it's, it's a nice heater. It does work. The biggest pro, I would say, with this whole unit is that it was $50. Compared to a buddy heater of essentially the same size being anywhere from 80 to a hundred dollars which right now currently the regular buddy heater is for sale at 89.99 regular price so you usually see them go at 79 now you get what you pay for the, they're, they're easier to light buddy heaters the low does perform I would say a little better than this I'd rather not hear that fluttering uh, my first unit fluttered on low also but like I said it was woefully inefficient and I couldn't figure out why. Now, run times. It did run one hour and 58 minutes on high on my first test. This unit. The On low, it ran for four hours and 10 minutes. Exactly on low. So, that does do what it says it's going to do. Now, like I said, I couldn't confirm that low is 5,000 BTUs or 6,000 BTUs because the company knew nothing about their own product. So warranty or service or anything of that is probably non-existent, but like they say, you get what you pay for. And this being at an average of $30 less than a buddy heater, which Mr. Heater, buddy heater, Mr. Heater, the company, you call them and they are the friendliest people ever and they will give you any help that they could possibly give you. So there's your up and down. You know, this is a Walmart product and some people are going to say, what do you expect? Well, of course. But it is an alternative. Not everybody has that extra $30 and their furnace went out. In this case, you have... An option a little at least a little bit cheaper so let's get some lighting going here real quick now I would say down in the comments you can leave a little bit of a statement what do you think about this heater would you buy one I mean personally I say as a camping heater I say no the efficiency of propane at this point, you might as well just go ahead and get yourself a, you know, a thousand watt solar unit and a heated blanket and you'll be warmer through the night when you're camping. 
Um, emergency, uh, your furnace blows out in the middle of the night and you need to heat your house, yes. Um, supplementary heat, uh, like for right now, I'm in my garage, yes. Um, other than that, I mean like a shed, a she shed, or you know, any of those kind of, you know, smaller buildings, yeah, I would say so. I mean, I just wouldn't necessarily want to, I don't think it's efficient enough compared to like the buddy heater. My buddy heater runs five and a half hours on low at 4,000 BTUs. I mean, that's a lot longer of sustainable heat. Now, for even emergency heat, for me, that's a little bit better. But, like I said, for a garage heater, a shop heater, a shed heater, or a she shed heater, for that matter, because you know women, they're always cold. Oh, well, there goes my comments. Um, but, either way, I think it's a nice heater. I think it's worth the money. So, let's get you backed up here. Let's back it up a little bit here. And we'll turn this off. There we go. So the camera kind of gets back into focus there. Bring it back up just a little bit. There we go. Now, like I said, I think it's nice. I'd say, would you would you buy one? I bought one. I bought one for you guys to test it. Like I said, the first unit didn't work, but this unit seems to work pretty well. So, until next time, please subscribe. Please share. Hit the like button. Keystone Survival. That's what it's supposed to look like!